so what's up guys hope you are doing well i am match from tech match and today i'm going to show you that how to convert your legacy to uefi in your windows 11 or windows 10 without data loss so maybe you cannot find your uefi firmware settings in your windows pc so don't worry i have got you covered i will show you that how you can fix this problem so before jumping into the tutorial let's quickly understand the difference between the uefi and legacy legacy bios has been around for a long time and is the traditional firmware interface while the uefi is the modern successor uefi offers several advantages including faster boot times and improved security features so before jumping into the tutorial first make sure that you have the following things the first one is take backup of your system before performing any operations so it is good to be on the safe side and also check that if your system supports uefi bios or not if your system does not support uefi bios then don't try to convert it and also i will provide a video in the description so follow that video to know how you can do that all right so let me show you first so here if we just go to our system information here you can see that my bios mode is currently in legacy so if you are watching the video i am guessing your bios mode is also in legacy so also make sure that your system is in 64 bit windows because without 64 bit version your uefi will not work so make sure you have a backup and your system supports uefi bios and also you are running on windows 64 bit version so these are the three requirements mainly so at first we will use a software we will use the free software obviously so let me show you the software name is paragon so here just search for paragon manager download i will also put the paragon partition manager link in the description below so they did not sponsor me or anything i personally found their software useful so just go to their link and here it is saying absolutely free for personal and home use so as we are using it for personal use so we should be fine so here after coming to their website here you can see the download icon obviously here it is saying download for free and you can do all of these things and you can also purchase their software if you want so here at the bottom is the download link so here you can see the paragon partition manager community edition 64 bit so we'll download this version so here you can see that we are downloading this version so here you can see that our software has been downloaded so just double click on your exe file to install the software and then here just agree to their terms after reading obviously and then click on next click on install so here you can see it is saying installation is complete so just finish it and then let's close everything now so here is the software that we have installed so just open this paragon partition manager so this is the interface so here you can see that it is saying you haven't created recovery media yet so they are suggesting you to create a recovery so make sure that you have a backup of your operating system and other important documents backed up so that if in case something went wrong then you can obviously recover it from the recovery so make sure that so here you can see i have two drives so let me show you that so here is my ssd and the upper one is my hard disk so in in my ssd here you can see it is mainly in mbr so here is the button at the left side you can see convert mbr dix to gpt so you need to mainly convert your dix from mbr to gpt so just click on here so here you can see that they are like warning you that if the disk you are trying to convert contains a windows operating system then windows might not be able to boot anymore so make sure that you have a backup of your windows operating systems dix and then click on convert so here you can see the convert process has begun so here it is saying that restart the computer so you need to restart your computer so if you have any important things running in the background then make sure that you have backed up and everything and then you should click on restart the computer so here it is saying finalizing changes please wait so make sure that while you are doing this process you are connected to a power outlet and make sure that not to turn off your computer and do not press any key on your computer so the software will do its job in its own so here you can see that our system is now restarting so here it is saying loading paragon engine so do not press anything just let the software do its job 
so flashing system buffers please wait so they are telling you to wait so just wait for a bit and i will fast forward this process to save your time so now you need to press any key to continue so just press enter or anything and then your pc will boot up so now here you can see that we have booted up into our operating system and if we just put our pin here then here you can see all the application and all the files are still there in our windows so the main thing is that you should always have a backup so in my case everything went perfectly all right so if in your case something went wrong then if you have a backup then you can easily recover or restore your operating system so this is the most important thing in this video and also let me show you that now if it solved our problem or not so here let me just search for system information again and here you can see in our bios mode now it is saying uefi so here you can see that now we have converted our legacy firmware to our uefi firmware in our windows 11 pc without any data loss so that's it that's how you can convert your legacy firmware to your uefi firmware without any data loss so if this video help you then don't forget to hit the like button if you have any question or any suggestion then let me know that in the comment section below and please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for more future videos like this one so i'm mesh from techmesh and i'm signing out